Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about jQuery. I wanted to talk to you about file uploads, and more specifically, I wanted to talk to you how to do a file upload with jQuery. As you can see, I've got an Apache web server running right here. It's just part of a Bitnami OS stack install. It's just a regular run-of-the-mill Apache 2 server. There's the htdocs folder. That's where HTML will get served to the client. And I want the client to upload a file from their file system, which means I'm going to need to add an HTML document there. I'll call it uploader.html because we've got to send HTML to the client in order for them to get a form for which they can use to upload a file to the server. Now I'm gonna open that up with Notepad, nothing too special or crazy here for my HTML editing. The first thing I need to do on the HTML file that I'm gonna to send to the client is import the jQuery library. So here I'm bringing in 351 of jQuery. This is a standard script tag. I've also got it inside the head tag. I threw a title in there, jQuery file upload, and you know, the old doc type in HTML is there as well. I guess it's never a bad idea. Whenever I create an HTML and body tag, I always like to throw the end HTML and body tag in there as well. That's important. Now, in order to do an upload, I need a form. I need an HTML form, and that HTML form has to specify as the encoding type multi-part form data. That is so important. If you don't have that there, nothing's going to work. Now, normally I would add that there's a post method here. I might even put a URL for the post method to point to, but I'm allowing jQuery to do the uploading here. So I don't need to specify that action and I don't need to specify um, the or the URL that I'm going to. Um, so that's a little bit different here. If I've got an HTML validator, it might bark at that, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. What's important for jQuery is the ID, and what's important for doing a file upload is just to specify that it's multi-part. Now, I also need to actually just have the input file in which we will um, hold the name of the file to be uploaded. So just got a standard input file here. Now notice that the type is file. It's not text field, it's not submit, it's not text area. It is file because it is a file that we are uploading. Now I also wanna have a button here that will trigger the upload. And so I specify that here. I've got uh, the button that will trigger this form. The ID is the jQuery upload button. And I'm gonna trigger a jQuery action, a jQuery event, when somebody clicks on this button. And that's all done through my jQuery JavaScript. Now I'm gonna copy my jQuery JavaScript in here because I don't wanna write it by hand because I don't want to bore you. But you can see that, well, it's standard JavaScript and it is a standard event that I am associating with this jQuery upload button. You can see that button defined right there in the form. And here I say when somebody clicks on that jQuery upload button, well, I'm gonna create an object to represent this form data. I'm gonna make sure that file that was uploaded to this input field named file, important name match there, file there, ID there. Uh, the file that is specified there, I'm gonna hold that as a variable named file, and then I'm gonna append that file to my form. So I've got the form there, got the file, I append that file to the form. Then it's just a matter of calling on a server side resource. Now I'm gonna have to create this. That's the upload.php file. That's the server side resource that is gonna be the target here. That's gonna handle the upload. It's gonna be a post invocation. I'm gonna be sending my form data. And if things are successful, I just wanna print out a little alert button that says, hey, that was a successful query and the file was uploaded to. And I'm also gonna expect the server to give me the location that the file was uploaded to. Now, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we save that file, so that's saved. And then the next thing is, well, this said I was gonna create a file called upload.php, so it shouldn't surprise you that on the server, I am gonna create a new file, and that new file is gonna be called upload.php. Now the question is, oh, hold on. It's gotta be PHP, not PJP. This isn't a pajama party here, this is a PHP party. And in this upload.php file, what do we need to do? Well, need to define this first as being a PHP file. It's always a polite thing to do when you're working in the PHP world. 
And then what do I need to do sequentially in here? Well, the first thing I need to do is get the name of the uploaded file. And it's that syntax right there. File name equals dollar sign files, get the file and its name as it's being uploaded. That will give us the file name. Then we wanna create a, a link to the location that we wanna save the file on the local file system. So this is gonna give us the file that was uploaded, at least the, the file name. This is gonna create a location on the local system where we wanna actually save that file. Okay, so here we get the file name. Here we set a location locally where we wanna store it. And then in order to actually commit that file to that local file system, this is the call here, move uploaded file, specifically get the file that was uploaded right there and save it to that location that we specified on the local server. That will take the uploaded file and save it to a folder named upload that's relative to the PHP file that's being run. Now really, it's gonna be a file called, a folder called upload here, so I better go and create that folder named upload, there we go. Okay, so looking at this PHP file, once again, upload.php, file name, location, and notice if everything's successful, we will echo back dollar sign location. That will tell the calling program where we saved it. If things fail, we will echo zero. Now I'm gonna save that file, so just a quick file save. And now that's uploaded to the local file or to the web server, I should be able to go into my web browser and say localhost slash uploader.html. When I do, this window comes up. Notice that right there is my upload folder. There's nothing currently in it. But if I try and choose a file and look at that little Viper there and upload it, Notice it says the file was successfully uploaded to upload slash viper dash child. So that was successful. I can choose to do that again. Maybe take a picture of Cali, upload it. It gets uploaded. And then maybe even a copy of my book, Pickering of Springfield, gets uploaded there as well. And you can see each of those files now successfully being uploaded to the folder. And there you go. That's all there is to creating a HTML form that uses jQuery to call on a file on a PHP enabled Apache web server to upload files. And there you go, that's how easy it is to do a file upload with jQuery and Apache. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Java, JavaScript, and anything to do with DevOps or enterprise software development. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.